Hi oh guys, welcome back. Right, um, if this is the first time you're tuning in, please have a look at all my other stuff because there's loads and loads of weird and wonderful enclosures and horror and all that sort of stuff. So please check out videos before, like the Goonies one here. Um, that was a big one. Well, this is going to be a big build as well. This is part two of the Predator build. Um, today we're going to be painting the mask itself that's ready to paint and fitting the mask and the LED lights and so that we can start doing the rest of it. So let's get on with it. Right guys, today we're going to be painting the mask. So as you can see, I've added mesh to the eyes. What I've just done is cut a few bits of mesh and these would like the straps on the mask strap holes and covered those up as well this has stopped any live food getting in behind the mask because behind there's obviously where i'm going to fit all the leds and everything right so to paint the mask we've got a silver paint and this one's acrylic mother of pearl which is so i think if we can build up the two it's like a little practice, but you can see how the metallic effect is going to go on. So what you do... Right, so what we're going to do, we've got some silver paint here. It's a tiny, tiny bit, so what you do, you bang it, some on the brush. Have a, a cloth or something to hand. Basically, you just it's going to be like a dry brush over, and it's basically because I want all the the symbols and everything to stand out, and I really didn't like the gold that it came in, but the gold was actually cheaper to buy than. The, the silver one online, so I thought, well, might as well just get the gold one, spray it, paint it, because I was going to repaint it anyway. But you can see on there how it's just building up very, very lightly. All we're going to do, we're just going to keep adding it up. see there it starts making out all the symbols on the mask stand up this is going to take a while obviously in the back here this is where we're going to mount all the leds and mount the mask today as well so as it's going to take a while, I might as well put it on time lapse. Yep. Done it. The brush itself is just an old skaggy brush. But you basically, you don't want hardly any on there at all. sprayed it with a gloss, a gloss black as well, should still catch the light and everything.
say the major edges of the mask, make sure you, I want those to stick out more, so I'm just sort of very lightly brushing round to give it that metallic look. That's a my uh, first attempt, I don't think that's too bad actually. As you can see it makes like the symbols and stuff stand out more than the jet black. But it is literally you don't need any so as soon as you put some paint on your brush, a little bit paint like that. Wipe it on the thingy. So you basically it's a, it's really just like a dry brush. So it takes a while to sort of build up the colour. And we can put the LEDs and actually fit the mask in place. Right, this looks a bit rough, but basically it's all LEDs. Well, so what we've got here is red ones, which are linked to a little battery there, and the white ones. All this will be covered behind. I'm just, um, that's why I've done the test at first, so that we could actually just see, make sure the lights weren't going to come through the mask itself, but it's quite a good thick mask. Right, let's try and fit it. Right, it's pretty easy to fit because the flat bits on the top have hot glued them down there. And then underneath there, a little bit of wood to bring it out a touch. Right, as you can see from there, the wires run through that. Proof that I made. So as the proof goes up, we'll cover that in there. I'm thinking about maybe lifting this mask out slightly forward a bit. Now we've got to figure out where to put the hide. I'm holding the hide. We'll lift that up there. And we can start adding all the other bits in. Obviously what I want to do is mark out the back of the hide. There, there and there. And then what we're going to do is fill this bit up here and then seal it all, then fit that bit in there, which will uh, mean all that bad bit's all sealed. Right, so we're gonna just do a final check on making sure the lights are gonna work fine. So that's a red, as you can see. Well I've done it, I've made sure all the bulbs, LED bulbs are well out of the way. I think that works quite well. And we'll just turn those ones off. And then turn the other ones on. And the white works as well. Awesome. As I say, it looks really rough from behind, but um, I hot glued it all 
in place so it won't unstick and once all this area around the side bit here is all um, covered up what we're going to do is going to build up around the mask itself so everything all the gaps around the side are all sealed and obviously this bit under here we'll seal of that all in there so we've got to be quite careful otherwise we'll be going back over the mask to repaint but i think that looks quite awesome and what it looks like with the red on as well actually probably not that much <sighs> oh, it gives it sort of a weird sort of whitey orange look that's quite cool yes the mask is now fitted um also what i found is what i used the um upper pearl paint on there but where i've gone lightly over it it's given it sort of a a greeny goldy effect which i'm quite liking actually when i first saw it i thought oh something's reacted with the sealant here but in a way it's given it sort of a bronzy look which I quite like, if you see it more on that side. Yeah. But obviously I wanted to keep the, the spikes gold to make them look better. But the next bit is obviously we need to build the hide up here. Here. And then we're going to add all the polystyrene in. It's a big job. But what I'm sort of planning is to have like, obviously the cork bark here going up. Maybe like a cork barky bit that comes down into the hide. And then I want to do a mix of cocoa fibre back wall. But I also want to try and do like little jets of rock coming through as well which I've not seen done before, so I'm going to have a think about how to do it. I'm thinking possibly grout the whole lot once I've added the polystyrene, um, then choose which bits I want to make rock, and then add, obviously, the aquarium sealant and stick on the cocoa fibre. Obviously, I've got a branch that I'm going to put across here maybe some branches up there but i want sort of a nice area on the bottom because i want to actually plant some plants in here so the next bit now is we're gonna build that bit out there try and create something there and for the hide and then um we're gonna seal all the bits round the bottom because I've already sealed this side with pond sealer. I'm going to seal the bottom bit here and up a bit so that we don't get any rot. And then, um, yeah, once I've built the back of the hide, I'll seal that as well. And then I can fit the front and then start adding all the polystyrene. All right, guys. Thank you. All right, guys, as usual, thanks for watching that. Um, uh, part three will be out very shortly. This is quite a big build. It might actually go to four, four or five parts, like the Goonies ones. But um, thank, as always, thanks for watching. Thumbs up, comment down below, like, subscribe, ring the bell, and apart from that, I shall see you. Like it.